couldn't be more proud of our guys and the effort they put forth today. Um, extremely special game for our program. Um, this this game means a lot in a lot of different ways uh, for us, and it was a, a big challenge for our guys with a quick turnaround uh, from a late game Sunday night against a tough Hobart team. And this is a, a good Binghamton team that we had a lot of respect for coming in, and uh, in particular uh, challenged our defense uh, to tighten some things up and to play a little bit better. And, and I think they did that. You know, I think uh, um, our guys did a great job at the X, um, Doug and our wing players. Goal from the back out defensively, uh, I think really led the way um, today. Uh, I love the way that the pace of the, the play that we played, uh, especially between the lines. You know, I thought we worked hard off the ground, and uh, you know we're happy to get a win. Um, you know, I think uh, our, our seniors did a great job of getting this team ready uh, on, on very short notice and short preparation, and so we give them all the credit in the world uh, for having this team ready to go. And uh, happy to come out of this game with a win. Looking forward to uh, to hosting the Colgate Raiders on Saturday. What little things can you take out of this moving forward? Uh, well, you know, I think for starters, it's a step in the right direction for us defensively. Um, I think uh, you know we addressed some things after the Hobart game, just some miscommunications and some breakdowns that we weren't very happy with, um, especially in the second half of that game. Um, but you know, when you want when you, when you want to play fast, um, you're gonna you're gonna push the ball, you're gonna get some opportunities. You're also gonna have some opportunities to come back your way. And, uh, you know, you've got to remain disciplined in the defensive end, and I think our guys did a good job uh, of being more disciplined tonight. Um, you know, wasn't extremely uh, happy with our man down defense, but you know, they got some good shooters, and uh, uh, I think we keyed on a couple of their, their midfielders that are very good. You know, Antonazzi and Pirelli, and uh, um, you know, to hold those guys to I think one goal combined, and it was an extra man goal. Uh, I think that was a job well done by our defense. Um, so I, I'm not really sure what the timing was, but you know, we, I think we held them. To know uh, six on six uh, goals for a pretty extended period of time. Um, again, you know, man down has to improve. But takeaways, um, you know, Doug has some great improvements and adjustments at the X. Um, I thought AJ played uh, outstanding. Um, I think our defense in general, uh, you know, played pretty well. And, and our offense, uh, you know, when we ran our offense, we executed. Um, so a lot of positives. Still a lot of work to do. Plenty of work to do. I mean, it's real early in the season. Game number two for us when a lot of the teams have a lot of games under their belt. Uh, but that's the way it is, and, and um, you know, our schedule is tough, and it's, it's set up in, in this way specifically so that uh, we challenge our team uh, you know, as we move forward. Talk about the big improvement, especially, you know, Doug did a great job. Um, you know, you guys won the first 12 face-offs there, 18 out of 21 for the game, probably could have been 20 to 21. But, uh, you know, how much does that help, you know, when you're able to maintain possession like that? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. It allows your offense to get into a rhythm. Um, it rests your defense. Um, it, it's big, and I think... Uh, you know, Doug did a good job at Hobart too. That, that's a difficult venue to play in. Um, you know, sometimes it's, whether it's reacting to the whistle or uh, the different the environment, it's tough. Um, but Doug's a competitor. Um, Coach Richards did a wonderful job of you know the quick turnaround, working with Doug and our faceoff guys. Uh, and I think we got to credit our wing guys as well. Our wing guys, you know, come in and, and do a good job of making it a three and three scrap and, and working hard off the ground. So uh, you know, proud of Doug and the effort that he put forth. And you know, he knows it's a. Uh, the team uh, effort there, group effort, and three on three effort, and uh, those guys coming off the wings help on a great deal. So, um, I, you know, I think it, it's good. It's, like I said, it's a step forward, a step in the right direction for our guys. AJ, great performance for yourself. Like 13, 13 saves that you came out to be. I mean, how did it feel? Uh, it felt great. Um, you know, like Coach said, uh, taking uh, from what we learned from Hobart, um, trying to apply that in a very short time period. I'm just trying to get better, uh, especially yesterday. But our, our defense overall played very well. You know, we've been trying to um, hold uh, opponents to eight goals or less, and, and we did that today. You know, to hold them to uh, three goals for 50 some odd minutes is just it's outstanding. Uh, you know, we stuck to our game plan, and, and we played very well. Guys like Bronzino and Keith are off the bench for your defense. Obviously, the depth isn't going to be in question, but you get to see it from behind. How good is this group in front? Uh, you know. We have very talented athletes, um, and it starts in practice. It starts. It started way back when, way back in September. Um, you know, all the work we put in in the off season, and, and every day starting February first, a lot later than a lot of programs. Um, and to have those guys, to have the leadership that they show to us, to our team, <laughs> to the younger guys, and it's been. I'll answer that question a little shorter. Not good enough yet. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. I think uh, again, a step in the right direction, but. Uh, it was a step in the right direction.
especially in the first half, really dominant there. Uh, obviously, because uh, based off that, a lot of confidence you know, to keep winning. But uh, like Coach said, it's just not me out there. I got two great wings coming in, and we got a lot of depth that also comes in the wings that helps me out a lot. So if I'm not picking the ball up myself, I can count on them throwing it back out to them, or I can count on them making it a scrap so that we can ultimately pick up the ball in the end. So I really uh, I appreciate their help, and it helps me going forward at least. Where do you feel the most improvement coming out of last season? Um, I think being able to adjust against uh, face-off guys and what they're doing. And if we're in a slump or we're not winning a couple, being able to go on the sideline and talk to my wing guys and tell them what's going on, what all this is going on with me, and uh, figure out and adjust what they're doing. Also, want to take a moment to thank the band for coming out tonight. <laughs> you know, it was a chilly night, but uh, it means a lot to our program. There's a lot of energy to our guys, so thank you to the band. And, uh,